The rear entrance to the City Hall was blocked by a car belonging to a DUP councillor. Mr King's three-car convoy decided to try another gate. When it arrived there, he got out to walk in. The gate hadn't been opened, however, and Mr. King and his bodyguards were forced back into their cars. They returned to the rear entrance where the Northern Secretary had to run into the City Hall. DUP Councillor Denny Vitti and a policeman clashed. Other councillors locked out angrily demanded admission. They were eventually allowed in. The Reverend Ian Paisley then arrived. Inside, he waited with unionist councillors for Mr King to emerge. Outside, flag-waving protesters raced between the three possible exits Mr King could use. Eventually, after about two hours, he was brought to a side gate, which was blocked by Councillor George Seawright and Mr Paisley's daughter Rhonda, also a Belfast councillor. The wedge of RUC officers shielding him pushed its way through. Ian Paisley alleged afterwards that councillors had been assaulted by policemen. He then had this to say. Now I warned them that this would happen, Mr. Bally. I told you I wasn't pulling chestnuts out of the fire for anybody. And I'm telling you, more is in store if he's not going to give us our democratic rights. Let's have a ballot box. There'll be no riots in the street, no confrontation with the police, no talk of any riot in the Let's have a vote and a vote I demand. Yeah, you 